And, man, we are very excited to be hanging out with our new pal, Isaiah Polamau. Uh, and thank you, Isaiah, first off, for giving me the pronunciation before we started rolling. I was joking. It seems like one of those last things where people try to make it a lot more complicated than it needs to be. Just sound it out. It's, what, seven letters? Yeah, not too sounds, crazy. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Pull them out. There you go. Sounds good. It <laughs> sounds a little bit better when you say it than when I do. Uh, but look, like going back to kind of the start of this season, man, I mean, kind of a, a whirlwind, I would imagine, seven, eight months for you, you know, coming into training camp, uh, ultimately making the 53. But that first game action for you, uh, I know primarily on special teams that day. But when you go back to like that moment, I have to imagine that that was probably like the culmination of a lot of hard work, but also like, all right, this is just the beginning of where we got to get to next, right? Yeah, exactly. You know, after the game, actually, I was just thinking to myself, like, I can't get too, you know, too uh, big headed on it. You know, yes, I did good. But like you said, it was just the beginning. You know, uh, I couldn't just be, get comfortable. That was the word I was telling myself. I can't get comfortable. You know, I got to keep going, keep grinding. Yeah. And, and you know, you look at you look at kind of your story in particular, and one thing that that I really love about here, about being at the Raiders in particular, is like you look at at this organization's history, and they have such a rich tradition of UDFAs coming in, contributing. I mean, you look at guys that, that have been here throughout the years. Jalen Richard, undrafted guy, a tryout guy who had a really, really nice pro career. Marcel Rees, the big man upstairs, fantastic career as a UDFA. And every single year, man, it seems like there's a few of you guys that really kind of stick on, put your best foot forward, and end up on the 53. And this year there were four of you, four of you guys that did it. I mean, it's got to be exciting just to, just to kind of see – the group of you guys together? Because kind of within the, the rookie class, like I imagine you guys are have a special little bond too. Yeah, absolutely. And I think it's it just comes down to us believing in each other. You know, we talk to each other every day, just telling each other, man, don't get comfortable. You know, we, we're not supposed to be here. You know, we're blessed to be here. And, you know, sometimes when I walk out to the practice field and I'm, you know, just going through the motions, I just look at the mountains behind us on the practice field. Yeah, 100%. I think it goes for every guy on the roster, right? I think having those kind of moments of, of clarity and, and, you know, understanding like, hey, this is like a pretty cool deal that we're doing. You gotta, I, I got to remind, my, remind myself of that sometimes, too. But uh, I want to go back to Sunday. Big day for the team, first and foremost. Third win in a row. Momentum rocking in the right direction, which is really exciting. But for you personally, first career sack. You take down Justin Herbert. Kind of just take me through, through that play, what you saw, and, and ultimately how it, it ended up going down for you. You know, it was all part of the game plan, but as soon as the, the the ball snapped, I just ran and, you know, the tackle kind of gave me a little pressure and, you know, I fought back and then 30 stepped up and, you know, it was all about just running through him and getting to the quarterback. So that's what I went to and went to the power and ended up falling right into it. Yeah, and I mean, I think it, it certainly helps when you have Chandler and Max and guys on the defensive line flying around uh, as much as they are. Like, when you kind of look de- defensively, like overall, schematically, how much easier does it make life for you guys on the back end when the big big fellows up front are doing their job? Oh, it's a world of difference. You know, we only have to cover for a couple seconds, and after that, you know, he's run- they're running for their lives. So as long as we can do that and do our jobs, we'll have a great time. And, and I was thinking back to I, I was going back and I watched the sack a few times when we found out you were coming up today. And I think the biggest thing for me is, no pun intended, Herbert's a big dude, bro. Like, he is, he seems like he's one of those guys that is really hard to get to the ground when you have the opportunity to do it. Yeah, he, you know, he's like a modern day Ben Roethlisberger. You know, he's huge. He's really all of 6'5, six, 6'6, six, six, and, you know, he's a strong guy at that. So, you know, you, you kind of just got to run through him at that point. It's not really, you can't just try to lay on him. You got to really give it all. Is, is that something that you guys on the defensive side of the football have to be cognizant of going into a game? Be like, yeah, I mean, their quarterback, is he can do this. He's mobile. He's strong. But, like, when you get it, your chance to bring him to the ground, like, you have to bring him to the ground. He's not a 5'10", 5'11", a buck 90 kind of guy. Yeah, absolutely. That's something that we talk about every week. You know, you got to understand who you're going up against. It's not about just the scheme or the schematics or, or you know, all that, the X's and O's. It's about the people. You know, you look at, I know we talked about, about Chandler and Max, but I'm, I'm curious from your perspective on Sunday, I mean, that first half for Chandler in particular, I mean, the guy was possessed, right? A, a man who literally like, oh my God, like no one can stay in front of him. Everything seemed to be working for him. Should have really had four sacks, yeah. as crazy as that sounds. But I mean, what did that just look like from your perspective that, back there watching 55 go to work? Oh, it made everything so much easier. You know, when he, we just un- unleash him and, you know, let him do his thing. It's we're just back there and kind of waiting for a play. You know, kind of sometimes you get bored back there. Like, oh man, am I gonna get some action? Like, <laughs> you know, him and Max both, 
are, are unstoppable beasts. Like they're ridiculous, and I love playing with them. What's the most in the zone you've ever seen a teammate? I mean, we talked about Chandler's first half. It seemed like there was nothing that Chandler was doing that that wasn't working. Like whether it's this year or college, like what's the most like? Oh, this guy's just fully in the zone, rocking. You know, it, it's. When you, when you say that, it's really hard not to think about Max Crosby. Mm -hmm. You know, it, it's an everyday thing with this guy, though. Like, even in the walkthrough, he's taped up, cleats on, gloves on. You know, he's ready to go, ready for battle right now. So, I mean, I, I think that's one guy that stands out above everybody. It's really funny you say that because we talked to Max after one of the preseason games, and I was giving him a hard time. I said, dude... Everyone in this building knew you were not going to play today, but you got the paint on, yeah. his ankles are taped, he's got the gloves on and the sleeve. I was like, dude, I mean, a fantastic acting effort by you, but I think that just goes to show, like, he's the kind of guy, he talks about his routine and his process, and yeah. it's got to be the same every single day, whether it's a practice, a walkthrough, or, or going out there on Sunday. Exactly. You know, he never takes a day off. Everything is about routine with that guy, and that's someone that I kind of look up to for that. How much of a routine or, of like, finding that routine is is – important for a guy in your position, a rookie, a guy who's still, you know, in many senses, still trying to figure out life in the NFL, like how valuable has it been to kind of find that routine and, and kind of fine, fine tune it along the way too? You know, that's everything, especially for a young guy, rookie like myself, you know, just kind of find what works for me. You know, do I have to stretch before I go to sleep like some guys or, you know, do I have to wake up super early and get a breakfast in me? Like all of that counts into, you know, taking care of your body and and making sure that you're able to perform to the best of your ability on Sunday. How much is how much different is your routine this year than it was, say, a year ago as a college kid? Or is it is it still relatively similar? No, it's definitely different. I would say it's completely different, honestly. You know, I, I've taken everything a lot more seriously now, um, you know, because this is my job. You know, I get paid for this. So this is something that I've put more of a focus on of just taking care of my body, getting better sleep eating the right things, you know, getting the rehab and the prehab and just being ready. You know, and you, you talk about, you know, being ready and making the most of your opportunities. And, and, you know, we talked about the UDFAs coming in. And, and like you said, we're not supposed to be here. The, the guys that come in are, are kind of not viewed as guys that can make the roster. But we see it, like we said, every year that do. And so going through that journey, understanding like, hey, we're kind of fighting the uphill battle. How important was it for you to have a friendly face here uh, in your great uncle? I know you guys are on different sides of the ball, but just to have someone, you know, walk into the meal room or someone, you know, on your way and you're like, hey, you know, how's it going? And have someone to check in with. Yeah, not only uh, a, a friendly face, but, you know, family. You know, that's big for me. I come from a family first, uh, fa uh, family oriented, you know, bring, bring up. Or, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know? Like you were raised that way. Yeah, yeah that's just how upbringing, would, upbringing. That's yeah, where you're trying to get to. It took two of us, but we got there. <laughs> upbringing. So, you know, seeing him and him just being on, uh, behind me and just in my ear telling me everything that I have to do to, you know, make sure that I stay here. You know, it's been nothing but help. You know, as I before we get you out of here, uh, just curious, we're talking to you on today's Tuesday, right? But a funky week because we play on Thursday. Uh, obviously, your first time going through a Thursday night football game, but just how different is this week in terms of preparation and all the stuff you got to do to your body to get ready to go to play on a Thursday night instead of a Sunday? Oh, it's a lot different, honestly. You know, it's especially this being my first time, you know, it's it's really different. You know, everything's happening right now. Everything's much faster. You know, we have to go through game plan twice, even two times faster, you know. So uh, a lot of it is just putting more preparation on myself and making sure that I'm ready to help my team. You know, and Coach was saying yesterday when he talked to the media, he said, you know, no practice this week, strictly walkthroughs, and he's going to – because it's going to be a lot of intensive, like, kind of mental work. I know that we still have, you know, 48 hours before game day. Is that kind of how your your interpretation of it, of it has been so far? Oh, absolutely. You know, after this morning, you know, uh, the last game is already – it's behind us. You know, we're on to the next game. So – you know, we talk a lot about strain, and that's not just physically. It's it's mentally as well. 100%. Well, hey, man, whatever you guys have been doing as of late is working. The Raiders have went three in a row trying to make it four this upcoming Thursday night in primetime, man. And there's always something a little special about primetime, too, isn't there? Yep, that's where the stars show up. Exactly, 100%. Well, we're hoping we see you show up on Thursday night. Good luck to you the rest of the way. Stay safe on, on Thursday. We'll catch up to you soon, all right, man? Yes, sir. Thank you.